What's wrong? Are you mad? Aw, oh, geez, what did I do this time? These are all the phrases that people with resting bitch face hear every day. Hi, I'm Ray Dillon, and here at the RBFF, we are raising money and awareness to those suffering with resting bitch face. For those of you who don't know, resting bitch face is a social disability that causes individuals to look fucking pissed off nearly all the time, especially if they are unaware of it. My girlfriend came home and saw me watching Glee. She said, if you don't like the show, you can turn it off. I told her, I like the show. She just doesn't understand. All my friends think I'm a massive cunt. For example, my friend Viv, I told her her jacket looked too big on her. Clearly it was a compliment. She had lost some weight or something. But because of my face, everyone thinks I'm being a huge fudge. Thousands of people suffer every day from resting bitch face, and we are here too. Yeah, what's up? Smile. You're not smiling. Sm I'm not smiling. No, I'm not smiling. This is a very serious ad. Sure, but doesn't that mean you want to smile? Do I want to s No, Jerry, I don't want to smile. This is a serious issue, and I deserve it. It should be taken seriously. It just seems like you don't want to be here. Guy, give me strength. <clears throat> okay. Today, we're here to ask you for a small donation. Now, you might be asking, why does the Resting Bitch Face Foundation need money? Is that any of your business? Well, is it? I don't know. Is it actually their business? Well, the money will go towards advertising, which will help us raise awareness of our cause, ideally making our lives easier and the world a better place. So we don't have to explain ourselves for the 20th time. No, Mrs. Baker, I did not take your newspaper. I don't need newspaper. I have the internet. Yes, sweetie, I love the present you gave me. Socks. Who doesn't love little pockets for their feet? You know what? I'll call them fockets. My dating life has been difficult. My pictures make me look like I'm a serial killer. Just for the record, I do not hunt women. And I'm single. Wink. <laughs> oh, can you get me a towel? Oh, I'm, I am so sorry, Doug. I'm so sorry. Uh, no, it, it's, I'm just allergic to hazelnut. No, no, I'm so sorry. Please don't yell. I might have mixed up the drinks or something. I'm, I'm so sorry. No, it's fine. I just can't drink it. Please don't yell at me. I'm not yelling. I'm just explaining. <laughs> We need to spread awareness in order to ask for patience with our affliction. Yes, Jerry, I want to be here. You're right. I'm sorry for bringing it up. No, don't just dismiss this like I'm the bad guy. You see this? This is part of the problem. But I really do like Glee. The drama, the comedy, the musical numbers. What's not to like about it? Macy. Please, don't change the channel. Who doesn't love socks? Well, I guess the amputated. Okay, okay, I feel like we're not really helping our case. Let's just forget about the money, just a public statement. We are regular people. We just look like we're mad. And then when we actually get mad, it looks like we were holding it in for a long time. But I'm not mad. I'm not mad. I'm not mad. Stop asking me if I'm mad. You're making me mad by asking so much. So really, it's a self-fulfilling prophecy. Just please, God Almighty, stop asking if we're mad. Hey, did you want to stop? You seem really worked up. Jerry! 